right, then can you explain to me why in hell the good general walks into a Senate hearing as if he was St. George and the administration was a dragon? Sit down, Paul. Jiggs, I mean it. Your boss did everything but draw a sword. They ask, he answered. You guys are getting sensitive. A little too sensitive, if you ask me. Well, good evening, Senator. Good evening, Colonel. How Senator. are you, Paul? Uh, it's as simple as this. The president trusts Russia. The American people don't. The people don't believe the Russians are going to take those bombs apart on July 1st, and neither do I. Senator, do you think that the president's position is Hi, so Jackson. unreasonable? I have. If Russia reneges or cheats, we'd find out about it immediately. The deal is then off. There'd be no danger. Now, doesn't that make sense? Let's hear the view of someone a little more knowledgeable as to the Soviet Union's capacity to destroy us. Colonel Casey? Well, as a military officer, I steer clear of politics. Let's forget for the moment that you're a military officer, Colonel. You also happen to be a citizen. And then I'll have to take the fifth. <laughs> Colonel... Do you like the treaty, or don't you? Oh, uh, well, Senator, uh, uh, pardon me. Come along. I want you to meet the wife of the Indian ambassador. Just a moment, Stu, please. We're discussing the president's treaty. Now, I want you to hear the Pentagon's viewpoint about that treaty. Go ahead, Colonel. The treaty isn't viewed very favorably. Neither are income taxes, but we pay them. But you make me think that that fruit salad on your chest is for neutrality, evasiveness, and fence straddling. On the contrary, Senator, there's standard awards for cocktail courage and dinner table heroism. I thought you'd invented them. Uh, excuse me, Paul. 